Hi, friends. So somebody uh, asked me to explain why I am warning people about Natalie Child's uh, Freemasonry video. So uh, I think your name is Stone uh, something. Anyways, I'm unable to find the comment. Um, so I think that person's comment <clears throat> was scrubbed along with my comment about Natalie Child. Now, look at it. So this LTN, there's only one uh, re recorded listing of this name in all of the database I looked at. So this person, this Mason is Natalie and Child. Okay, what do the Freemasons do? What do the Illuminati do? Okay, hidden in plain sight. Um, so when somebody says they're an ex-CIA, I did a video, an ex-CIA, ex-Mason, they're still a Mason. You don't get away from it. And so at the beginning, and if you look at his video, if you look at his picture, he's doing the Freemasonic holding the chin kind of a thing. He's wearing black, he's wearing white, which is a Freemasonic checkerboard polarity kind of a thing. And I realized, I mean, I was, I was sharing this video. I, I was, you know, I shared it. I mean, who knows? Thousands of views probably were led to this deceiver because of me, the five hour long video. Now what this is, is this is the, the lamb, uh, the dead lamb pose. And you see this a lot. A lot of the movie stars do this disgusting pose and it's to scoff the, the lamb, the, the Lord who sacrificed himself. He lived a sinless life. He he, uh, God may, had a son born of a human being and Jesus lived a sinless life and he sacrificed himself because the wages of sin is death. Anyways, this, this one is making fun of that. And uh, so when they look to the right or to the left, I can't remember what, what that's about, but he's looking to our left. So uh, maybe that's the left-hand path, um, you know, darkness. And uh, so, um, so Natalie Child, there we go. And uh, I forget which website I get this information. Uh, there's additional information about the uh, tongue sticking out. Okay, so so if you if it's if the tongue sticks out like like Einstein who's a Luciferian, who was a Luciferian. He did the, the straight out, like the really rude kind of tongue, right? To the side, symbolizes a dead sheep. And so it represents, it's a, if we're referring to people who were mur murdered by the 666 collective because of their sheep-like ignorance. So they're making fun of us, folks. Um, so that's why I, 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 I just like, um, Natalie is, is, is just a, she knows, and I, I say she because a lot of the um, creatures out there uh, are shells for entities. Um, so that's why, you know, we have to be careful. We can't really um, trust trust them when they say they're they're an ex CIA. I mean, I've, I know I keep on beating a dead horse, but uh, use your discernment and right now there's a lot of um, like fake fake um, it's a combination actually like because Natalie gives some good information other people that I just did a video about they give good information uh, but within that information is something poisonous like Mike Adams today's uh, it's October 11th uh, his his podcast is so poisonous because he's he's saying that people who don't want to work in these abusive work environments, the entry level work is horrible. There's the, it's it's the, the 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 amount of abuse that somebody has to get to go through. Um, the is just not worth it. Um, so that Mike Adams is using his platform to make things harder for entry level workers. Like, what is he thinking? Like what, what, what good is that? What, what good is that? You know, is that, I mean, 
like OSHA isn't doing its job, Bureau of Labor and Industry isn't doing its job, and they haven't been doing the job. They're rarely doing the job. I mean, I guess Bureau of Labor and Industry does did a better job when I had to interact with them, but most government regulatory agencies are not protecting employees, and employers certainly are not protecting employees. And just because you might, Adams, you might, you might take care of your employees, you're probably the one out of well, I mean, out of all of them or something like that. So, so, oh, I just think it's so despicable when somebody who is privileged and sheltered uses their platform um, to bash the most vulnerable and the most important group of people. It's the entry-level worker. But is there affordable housing? And I don't mean like horrible, um, like Section 8, disgusting, uh, invasive, abusive uh, Section 8 housing. No, there should be affordable housing that somebody could pay that works in an entry level job. They shouldn't have to be on welfare to afford your housing. You know, and a lot of people, they own property and they somehow they expect you to pay $2,000 or something for a, a total um, slum house. And that's all across the country. And people have the nerve to bash entry-level workers who are paying way too much for a horrible situation where there's poisonous traffic air or chemicals and pesticides and fungicides and stuff being sprayed inside and chemicals being used uh, and uh, mold in the building. I mean, and, and the thing is like what these privileged, sheltered, uh, entitled people say as well, you, you can handle it, just get an air filter. You can handle it, just, you know, if it's too noisy, just wear whatever. And the thing is these shelter privileged people, they do not, they're not subjected to the same uh, quality reducing aspects of life that an entry level worker has. An entry level worker has to do a thousand times more to make it to that shitty job that you're, you're, you're bashing them about. You know, that's, that's the thing. Like when, when, some, I mean, that's, that's what I've observed when I was this entry level worker is that the privileged person lives in this gated community and they have their fancy car and they have all this like uh, social leverage and they, they just get like, just, they don't even have to pay for stuff because people just want them there. So they, you know, but when you're an entry level worker, you're treated like crap uh, by your boss, by customers, by the whoever, you know, and, uh, and you have a, you don't have enough money to buy for food, to pay your bills, to pay your rent. Um, your living situation and your transportation situation is crappy. So anyway, um, so my guidance, watch out for that guy uh, because he is, he is, a, he's poisoning, poisoning things, he's dividing things. Um, and just like this Natalie person, so um, yeah, watch out. So those are my thoughts. Thank you for watching and God bless.